In this video, I'm going to show you how to clone an assembly drawing. First, let's check our assemblies. By uh, choosing these uh, select assemblies and uh, select this beam or gear there, and then create view, 3D view. So this is our first assembly, wherein you, you can see the size of this uh, part is uh, UB 406 by 140. Okay. The next one is this beam, inquire, and that one is UB 356 by 171. And the last one is this. UB305 by 127. So you will notice in these three assemblies, if I select the main part, these are the total length of the first beam, 4645, the second beam is uh, 4145, and the last one is 3645. So basically, these are totally different beams, and uh, the connections are uh, using the uh, shear plate and using clip angle connections okay the first thing to do is uh, we'll create the uh, assembly drawing for this uh, beam okay so simply select and then create assembly drawing and then go to this uh, document manager and then open the default drawing that we have created so these are the uh, this is the drawing that uh, we have created. As you notice, there's an automatic uh, dimensions here. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to change some of the, uh, or I'm going to add some dimensions manually. Okay, so the idea of cloning the drawing is uh, whatever annotation and additional dimensions that I added in this drawing will be followed uh, by the next uh, drawing, even though the size of the beam is totally different and the length of the beam is different okay but uh, remember that uh, when you do the cloning make it sure that uh, uh, you clone that one according to the category if this one is a category of beam then you need to clone to the beam accordingly and if it is column then you clone to the column so you cannot clone the beam to the column or vice versa or the other elements okay so let's start adding some uh, uh, information on this okay so if you notice on the top view I have already the dimensions for the uh, shear plate which is okay and the end plate is there already so in the uh, in the front view so instead of uh, having this 3 at 60 I will just simply change this one to uh, the combined equal dimensions of modify so this one and the next one also even for the uh, end plate. So I'm going to change that one. All right. And the uh, additional dimensions will be for the haunch. So I'll go to this dimensioning, horizontal dimensions uh, from this point to this point. So this is my haunch dimension. The vertical one will be from here to here. Okay, or maybe I can just simply stretch this one, and this one will be my vertical dimensions. I can also do the same dimensions to the other side, this point to this point. Here, here. Okay, so that's the additional dimensions that I added in my uh, beam or in my hunch. Okay, uh, the next one is, uh, let's say I'm going to uh, add some text here. Go to the annotation and then text and then text with leader line. So pick this point. So here I can just simply change this one to with the arrow and then here let's say type mark top modify so I have the mark on top 
Okay, and next is uh, these fitting dimensions. So let's say uh, I will add some dimensions here on the section AA. So I'll go for the uh, dimensioning again, horizontal dimensions. So let's say uh, from, from this point is the, the thickness and then the, uh, the flange and this one. Okay, so if I don't want my exaggeration, I can just change the mark here and then none. Okay, or uh, the other dimensions will be should be from the working point. So from this point to the first hole, right? So one three one, and then this point to this point to uh, let's say this to this. Okay, and then additional dimension from this edge distance. Okay, and this one should be okay. Maybe additional uh, dimensions on the uh, vertical part. So maybe I'll just add additional uh, dimension here as a working point. So I'll go to these dimensions. Uh, since this one it are uh, a similar piece mark, F8, F8, so all, all I have to do is just simply the working point here, 131, and this one is 70, 80, and 80, okay? All right. So uh, now the next one is I'm going to uh, add the um, single part manually by simply selecting this end uh, plate and then right click and then create single part view. So there you go. So I have now my single part, single part view here. Okay. So maybe I can just uh, I'll just remove the unnecessary section and then I'll just use this one. For my single part view and then of course uh, the dimensionings for this one I can just simply uh, add some dimensions here dimension point for more detailed uh, information and then this must be add dimension point again and there you go I have the detail for my end plate and then also with this uh, shear plate, add single part view. So there you go, I have this uh, single part view. I'll just uh, again delete this unnecessary information here. And then in this case, uh, all I have to do is just simply uh, maybe remove this unnecessary dim. Or maybe uh, I'll just use uh, I'll just put this one as uh, the uh, the radius for our uh, fillet, and then for this uh, information, maybe I'll just uh, recreate my dimensions here, uh, like uh, this cutting, and then the uh, whole dimensions. Okay, so this one is okay. Maybe I'll just simply add a dimension point here. And this one, additional dimension point. This one also, add dimension point here. And for the uh, chamfer, I can add one vertical chamfer here. And then horizontal dimension for the chamfer. Same thing here. Okay, so uh, 
Basically, these dimensions can be uh, automated, but uh, I just want to show you something that uh, uh, that we can add that one manually. But uh, the main idea of uh, having this uh, drawing and adding these dimensions is to clone to the next drawing. Okay, let's say I'll delete this uh, uh, view. I don't need this one. This one also don't need because I have already the uh, the size. Okay. Alright, so now I have this detail for the uh, end plate and for the, uh, uh, what do you call that, uh, shear plate. Okay, next is, uh, we also need to add the uh, details for the hunch. So all we have to do again is to select the hunch and then create part view. And then this one, as you can see here, this is the detail for the hunch, but uh, we need to remove some uh, some uh, information here and then we, we need to make it simple so all you have to do is just simply double click on the uh, uh, on the view properties and then from the view properties uh, you can just simply uh, change the part this part instead of outline you choose the uh, exact and then modify and there you go Right. So now what you can do is just simply delete the uh, unnecessary uh, dimensions or the other dimensions and then so let's say horizontal so just simply pick this point to this point. Okay. So 578 and then now again from this point to this point for the cutting of the uh, Hunch, right, and then from here, vertically, total dimensions. Okay, if you have some cutting here, then you can add some dimensions here. Okay, so uh, these are the uh, dimensions that I want to have in this beam and um, now uh, let's move on to the uh, cloning of this beam or cloning this drawing to another beam. Okay, so meaning I don't need to, to repeat all the things that I added here but uh, what it will do for us is it will copy all the annotation and dimensions that I did for this uh, uh, beam. Remember, the size of this beam is different to the size of the uh, next beam that I'm going to clone. Okay, so let us close this one. Say yes. And then all I have to do is to select these two, two beams, and then go to this document manager, select the, select the drawing that you're going to clone, and then you, you must click this clone drawing. And then click. So now it will show you this clone drawing uh, dialog box, and all you have to do is to clone selected. So these are the these are the controls for this clone. So basically, I will uh, clone everything. So click clone selected. Now it will uh, create the drawing for the two beams. Okay. So now, as you as you notice here, drawing was cloned. So these are the two drawings that are. Uh, clone from the original one so let's check the b2 okay so b1 is the original one so b2 okay as you can see here so you have uh, the uh, dimensions even though it's a different size then automatically it will clone accordingly the only thing here is uh, of course we need to um, rearrange a little bit of the uh, the drawing but that one is okay all right so again this one is um, the clone from 131 now this one is 146 and also as you can see here the markup is there these are the additional uh, information that I uh, added earlier and then 
from uh, uh, from two clip angle connection then this one becomes one okay then let's move on to the next uh, drawing okay and the third one is uh, this drawing this uh, beam so as you notice here you have also the uh, different size and then it is uh, cloned uh, from the uh, uh, bigger beam and uh, by the way this cloning is um, still you need to do some uh, uh, additional uh, work not 100% but uh, basically uh, some of most of the dimension and the view will be uh, uh, copied from one drawing to another drawing okay so this is how you clone the uh, drawing from one assembly drawing to another drawing thank you